Somalia's national elections continue to be delayed by dispute. Violence at a rally to demand polls has worried international partners. It has also set up a new deadlock that could prove difficult to resolve. ADNTV's Daniel Farnad has the latest developments. <laughs> Accusations have been traded between the government and the opposition over the last few days. The Council of Presidential Candidates organized a demonstration on Friday. In the early morning hours prior to the march, gunfire erupted in several locations. The government accused militias of hitting security posts. The opposition accused government troops of attacking their hotel. Friday, protesters including former Prime Minister Hassan Ali Khari, say they were fired upon by federal forces. Government spokespeople countered that the demonstrators were armed insurrectionists. International partners have issued calls demanding for violence to stop. The FGS has reacted angrily to a statement from the United Arab Emirates, seen as allied with the opposition but it welcomed a similar announcement from Qatar, which is friendly to the Farmaggio administration. The president met with several state leaders and United Nations mission head James Swan to talk about how to move forward on elections. The United Nations Security Council has scheduled an open meeting for Monday to discuss the situation. Puntland has issued a statement calling for Farmaggio to be barred from electoral negotiations while including a number of new stakeholders. The state, home of leader Saeed Denny, has been at the forefront in the delay of balloting. Denny made a speech late Sunday in Garraway describing a conversation he said he had with Formaggio. The president allegedly told Denny that he has the money, troops and patriotic forces to stay in power. It is unclear at this point what can be done to get all parties back to the negotiating table. ADN TV will continue to update you on any progress toward election in Somalia.